Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, and it's time, it is finally time to sit down and discuss the absolutely disgusting, reprehensible, and downright repulsive allegations that have been levied against Activision Blizzard. I'm going to say it right now, this is not going to be a fun video, it's not going to be a feel-good video, or even a funny video, it's going to be a serious video regarding some of the most serious topics imaginable, but as someone who reports Call of Duty news and makes Call of Duty videos, I feel like this video has to be made since most of the Call of Duty partners with creator codes are oddly silent on this subject, likely because of their partnerships with Activision. This is one of the many reasons why I've always tried to stay clear of Activision and I've tried to remain as neutral as possible, but regardless, it's a very shitty situation all around and I'm sure everyone has their own reason for speaking up or staying silent. Before we get started, I want to stress that these allegations are not just coming from one person. This isn't like a hashtag MeToo tweet or something like that, which is also serious, but this is a literal lawsuit filed by the state of California against Activision Blizzard. The literal court case is going to be the state of California versus Activision Blizzard, as mind-blowing as that is. And I should also note that I am not a lawyer. I am not a legal expert. I'm just somebody reading through the documents and the articles and trying my best to piece together the facts as we know them so far. So, in the court documents, which are linked below if you guys want to check it out, as well as a number of articles, Activision Blizzard are accused of fostering a quote-unquote frat boy culture within their company, where female employees are subjected to constant sexual harassment, unfair wages, and retaliation from the company if they speak up about it. Apparently, this investigation has gone on for two years behind the scenes by the California Department of Fair Employment and Housing, and after this two-year investigation, they have decided to sue Activision Blizzard blizzard looking to compensate all the people and families that were affected by this frat boy culture within the company. Reading through the document, we see the defendants, Activision Blizzard, have also fostered a pervasive frat boy workplace culture that continues to thrive. In the office, women are subjected to quote-unquote cube crawls in which male employees drink copious amounts of alcohol and then quote-unquote crawl through the various cubicles in the office and often engage in inappropriate behavior towards females male employees. Male employees proudly come to work hungover, play video games for long periods of time during work while delegating their responsibilities to female employees, engage in banter about their sexual encounters, talk openly about female bodies, and joke about rape. So right away, things are not looking good for Activision here. Admittedly, I've only worked in a handful of public places in my life, including an office, and the idea that employees are getting drunk and hitting on females and playing video games and talking about who they hooked up with recently, like, what is this, high school? Like, what kind of, like, work environment even is this? It makes no sense whatsoever. Maybe this is why Dark Matter doesn't work in Black Ops Cold War, because Johnny Game Dev is too busy harassing Susie Game Dev over there to actually fix the camo. Or maybe Susie is the one responsible for the camo, but she's too busy dealing with the PTSD of constantly being groped by her superiors to actually finish the camo that she's supposed to be working on, along with all the other stuff that's thrown on her desk by her superiors. Maybe that's the case. We have no idea. This is absolutely nuts. The next example in the court document is pretty disgusting as well, and I should give you guys a trigger warning because this does involve suicide. So, fair warning to you guys there. Once again, reading straight from the court document, in a particularly tragic example of the harassment that the defendants, Activision Blizzard, allowed to fester in their offices, a female employee committed suicide while on a company trip due to a sexual relationship that she had been having with her male supervisor. The male supervisor was found by police to have brought a butt plug and lubricant on this business trip. Another employee confirmed that the deceased female employee may have been suffering from other sexual harassment at work prior to her death, specifically at a holiday party before her death. Male co-workers were alleged to be passing around a picture of the deceased's vagina. What the fuck is happening here? So, obviously, we don't know the full extent of the relationship between the deceased and the supervisor. We don't even have names as of right now, which is probably for the best, right? We shouldn't be throwing the name of that deceased around. The supervisor, maybe, but right now, let's just focus on what we have right here. We do know that this was an absolute tragedy. It's always a tragedy when there's a loss of life like this. And I have to ask, what kind of company has a bunch of guys passing around pictures of a co-worker's vagina 
which were likely sent in confidence, right? Like, imagine working at a place that you consider to be a dream job, which for a lot of people, Activision Blizzard is the dream job, like Call of Duty, World of Warcraft, Diablo, Overwatch. Like, this is, like, the dream place to work for so many people. And then you get there, and then you send a nude in confidence to someone you may be having a relationship or maybe not having a relationship with. We don't know. We don't know the full details. But suddenly, it's getting passed around at a fucking Christmas party? Like, how is that? Like, what kind of work environment is this? This kind of stuff is absolutely disgusting. But it keeps on going. Of course it keeps on going. It's Activision. So, according to the lawsuit, women were often harassed by upper management as well as team leaders, and they were sometimes groped and asked on dates despite making it clear that they were interested. And should these women go to HR, which should be a safe place, right? You should go to HR if you're being harassed. They'd get in trouble basically is what they're saying. They would get in trouble for going to HR. The lawsuit claims that these women's reports to HR were not kept confidential within the company. So in retaliation for making these accusations against their harassers, the victims were often involuntarily transferred to other teams or to other jobs entirely. They were selected for layoffs and they were denied other opportunities and projects in the future. So basically it sounds like if you were harassed by a supervisor or like one of the higher ups, like one of the big wigs of the company, if you tried to turn them into HR for harassing you, they would basically just end your career or they'd ruin it at the very least. Like they'd send you down to some horrible job that pays nothing and just it'd be a horrible situation, right? Basically, you got in trouble for speaking up because there are some people that were just bigger than God, I suppose, with an Activision Blizzard. And if they harassed you and you said anything, well, you're screwed. Your career is now over. Like, what the fuck even is this? The people who are doing the harassing are fine because, again, they're like bigger than God within the company. They don't get in trouble whatsoever and the people that do get harassed and reported it their careers got ruined because they were labeled as a problem within the company and then they either got fired or laid off or they got delegated to some terrible meaningless job within the company itself there's a metric ton of other stuff to go over here the lawsuit is absolutely massive but suffice it to say that women were receiving less stock and less incentive opportunities within activision blizzard they got less promotions they earned less money they had to work way longer and harder than their male counterparts and they were oftentimes assigned to lower work conditions and lower work levels simply because they were women. That's what it says in the lawsuit. And Activision Blizzard, of course, has responded, but their response is actually laughable. So to quickly summarize, they claim that the reports from the Department of Fair Employment and Housing are distorted and in many cases false. They claim that they've been working with the DFEH, which is quite a mouthful, but they claim they've been working with the department and doing everything that they said, but they're upset that the department never actually told them the issues that they consider to be problematic which makes no sense. It's like saying, what? We didn't know you weren't supposed to grope the females. Like, they're fe that's why they're here. We're supposed to grope them. We're supposed to get drunk and play COD all day despite COD being in a complete terrible state and then just throw our work at the female employees. That's what you do. What? It was it? What? It didn't say in the manual that we couldn't do that, right? Like... It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Oh, uh, that's gonna get clipped somewhere, I'm sure, but... They go on to say that it was reprehensible by the Department of Fair Employment and Housing to even bring up the lady who committed suicide while working for Activision Blizzard due to all the sexual harassment because of her grieving family. Well, you know what, Activision? Have you guys actually thought of this? Maybe her grieving family would actually like to see some justice for her against the workplace that caused her to take her own life in the first place. Have you guys ever considered that maybe as a possibility instead of trying to take the moral high ground? Like, how dare you bring up that lady who committed suicide while working for us due to all the sexual harassment she got from her supervisors and co-workers how dare you bring that up think of her family no how about you think of your fucking company fix your company punish the people that were involved and that will actually help out the grieving family how hard is this like it's actually fucking laughable how bad this shit is but it keeps on going it keeps on going to finish off their response Activision says that this kind of investigation is what's driving many of California's best businesses out of the state like, are you kidding me here? Activision is honestly trying to high road this. They're basically claiming that they've done nothing wrong. They've done everything by the book. And by the way, should you guys keep bugging them about their workplace environment, they're going to take all their money and leave the state. 
That's basically what they're saying. Like, what a fucking joke, dude. What a fucking joke Activision Blizzard is. This is a shit-tier response, and it's going to be interesting. Like, it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out over time, because this is something that just came out in the past couple of days, and therefore, a lot is going to be coming out in the coming weeks and months. Like, if you go to Twitter, like, there are so many current and former Activision Blizzard employees that are sharing their stories, and it's honestly disgusting the workplace that they have to endure there. It goes without saying that everyone deserves their day in court. Everyone deserves to be able to defend themselves and tell their story, and everyone should be innocent until proven guilty. But my hope here is that the victims are compensated tremendously, and the people that are doing this harassment are excommunicated from the games industry and probably every industry as a whole, and that Activision Blizzard gets their fucking act together. Like, imagine having a multi billion dollar company that is run like this. I'm not trying to take away from the severity of the accusations or the victims here, but this kind of shit. It has to be horrible for the products that they're releasing, right? Like, do you guys think that any of this is good for Call of Duty or Overwatch or World of Warcraft or Diablo or any of the other Activision Blizzard games? Games are releasing nowadays, especially with COD, with less content than ever before. They're taking way longer in between updates, and the overall polish of the games has gone down significantly in recent years. And now we hear what it's actually like to work within these companies, and no fucking wonder it's like that. Activision Blizzard have a severe problem here, and it's from the top down. This requires a complete sweep of the entire company to rid themselves of these creeps, these weirdos, and these downright disgusting human beings. Obviously, they're innocent until proven guilty and all that, but there are way too many allegations here for everyone's hands to be clean. So the guilty need to be excommunicated from the company and the industry as a whole, and Activision Blizzard needs to completely reevaluate their entire hiring process and how they handle things internally. People should not be afraid to go to HR because their supervisors taking butt plugs to the fucking company picnic. That is not how life should work. And I know a lot of people are going to say, well, Nero, that's how the real world's been for a while. Well, fuck that. We need to fix. Uh, th that's not something you just accept. That's something that needs to be fixed, obviously. And finally, after a two-year investigation, Activision Blizzard is finally going to get theirs, and they're finally going to get the proper investigation, the proper lawsuit that they deserve. And hopefully, it's going to get rid of all these scumbags. It's going to tremendously compensate the people that have been hurt by this situation. And hopefully, Activision Blizzard going forward is going to be the company that they should be. And as a result, everyone's happy. The people are happy to work there. People are happy to play the games. People are happy to buy the games. And everything just gets better. And it starts with this lawsuit right here. So I'm definitely happy this came out. It was definitely a mind-blowing bombshell when I first read this. And it was a lot to take in, which is why this video took a while to make. Because obviously... I don't know. When it comes to stuff like this, you have to really try to get all the facts straight. You can't say the wrong thing. You know, but... Here we are, right? The video is being made, and this is definitely going to be interesting to follow going forward. Right now, I have seen a lot of widespread people reacting to this differently, right? Some people are saying that everyone needs to boycott Activision and Blizzard, and protests are being held within World of Warcraft, for example. Protests are being held. People are unsubbing from the game, and while they still have the sub that they paid for previously, they are protesting within Ouroboros, and they're basically doing a sit-in within the game, which is pretty interesting. Obviously, there's other news sites out there that are refusing to write about Activision games now as a result of these accusations, and I think that's perfectly fine. I think if you're the kind of person who wants to protest this blatant disregard for employee safety, then more power to you, but remember which side you are fighting for. For a lot of people, protesting can be a very negative thing. For new sites and content creators, their entire livelihood is based on games like Call of Duty or Overwatch or WoW or any of those other games, right? I've seen some people, and it blows my mind, but I've seen some people on Twitter claiming that people that work at Activision Blizzard should quit their jobs in protest of the horrible things that were happening within the company, but that's literally a case of blaming the victims here. The people working in Activision and Blizzard are oftentimes working what they consider to be a dream job, right? Some of these people moved clear across the country or from other countries just to move to California to work for Activision Blizzard. And while working there, some of their co-workers became incredibly shitty people and they did incredibly shitty things. But because they work in a place that has shitty people in it, the people that aren't doing shitty things should lose their jobs? That makes really no sense whatsoever. And the same goes for new sites and content creators. Just because there are completely shitty people with an Activision Blizzard doing absolutely horrific things, that does not mean that people who had nothing to do with it in the first place should also be punished. Now, should these people speak out and make their opinions known? For sure, I think everyone should let their opinion be known. But to look at someone like... 
it seems rude to name names, so I'll use myself as the example here to say, Nero, you need to quit making Call of Duty videos, you need to lose your career, you need to lose your house, basically lose your life altogether, because people with an activation are shitheads. That's, that's a pretty bad take, right? Like, obviously, I've been saying for years that people at Activision are shitheads. Activision themselves are shitheads with what they do to the Call of Duty franchise and the bad decisions that they have made over the years. But that doesn't mean that myself and all the other content creators out there should have to quit our careers on YouTube and Twitch because of stuff that we have absolutely nothing to do with. I'm saying this for the people who won't say it themselves, whether it's a fear of backlash or ties to Activision themselves, but it's true. That's like the honest-to-God truth. You shouldn't blame the people who did nothing wrong whether it's the actual victims of harassment at the hands of their supervisors and their superiors at Activision, or the co-workers who did nothing wrong but were caught in a crossfire just because they happen to work within the same company, or the people that are simply reporting the story or playing the game franchises that they love. This is an absolutely terrible situation. The lawsuit has been filed, however, and the state of California is taking Activision Blizzard to court, and it's time that the company finally got the deep cleaning that it has needed for ages. But again, I just hope that when people look at this kind of story and they get very upset one way or the other, that they remember which side they are fighting for and don't blame the victim. Blame the shitheads with an Activision that are hopefully all going to lose their jobs and hopefully Activision is going to tremendously compensate all the people that were affected by those shitheads. And then from there, the healing can begin. And Activision Blizzard can start repairing their reputation. The people that actually work there are not going to be subjected to horrible horrible work conditions and as a result their lives are better their careers are better it becomes the dream job that they always wanted it to be growing up playing games like cod and wow and all that you know they've started playing these games growing up next thing they know they find themselves working at the company that makes the games that they grew up loving so much and then they realize once they get there how shitty it is I feel so bad for those people. I really do. So hopefully this lawsuit and the state of California actually take Activision to task. They take Blizzard to task as well. And they clean out the company from the top to the bottom and make it what it always should have been. But ladies and gentlemen, there you guys have it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I don't know. It wasn't a fun one. It was rough to get through, but here we are. We made it. Be sure to leave your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for listening and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.